Well, good evening, good evening. Pro wrestling fans from all over the world of all shapes and sizes, welcome to another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ, Jason Ingram. So, the time has come. It's time to finish off the New Japan Cup 2024. The finals card has been set. So I wanted to get on here and do my preview of this card. The New Japan Cup 2024 Finals takes place actually tomorrow, March 20th. It will also take place at the Aoyaki, or at the, I'm sorry, I said that wrong, the Aori Nagaoka in Niigata, Japan. Apparently that's where this this venue is. We got nine matches. Got nine matches on this card. Before we go into it, I wanted to remind everybody to be sure to check out the link in the description for Game Beauty for an awesome lineup of video game themed makeup and cosmetic products. And if you see something you like and want to make a purchase, don't forget to use that promo code BLITZBALL underscore CHAMP, all in caps, and you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to check that out and happy shopping. So let's go ahead and get started going over this card. Got quite a, got quite an interesting card, but let's get to it. First match, tag team match. We have the team of Shoma Kato and Katsuya Murashima taking on Hiromu Takahashi and Bushi of LIJ. So, looks like the Young Lions are, are getting some action in the opening match. Good to see. You know, get, got some new Young Lions here. But... Hope they have a good showing. That's all I can say. But I'm picking LIJ to win this match. I mean, for obvious reasons. But I hope Shoma Kato and Katsuya Morishima uh, have a good showcase with this match. But yeah, LIJ for the win. Okay. Let's move on to our next match. How about some trios action? Alrighty. Got some trios action. Team number one, we got Tomohiro Ishii, Tangaloa, and Ryusuke Taguchi taking on United Empire's Great Okan, TJP, and Francesco Akira. Oh! I mean, one team definitely has a lot more chemistry than the other. Hmm. Eh. I'm going to go with United Empire to pick up the victory. Why not? Yeah, I'm going United Empire. Um, I Although I do hope that Hanare uh, has a speedy recovery. Ho hopefully he gets a chance to return as soon as possible, but, but yeah, United Empire still looking really strong, so yeah, I'm going to go at United Empire to pick up this victory. Alrighty, let's keep it going. Tag team match. We got TMDK versus United Empire. So TMDK represented by Mikey Nichols and Zack Sabre Jr. And they'll be taking on Jeff Cobb and Calum Newman. Uh, looking forward to this match, actually. Um, get to see more of Calum Newman. I, I really like what he brings to the table. But being that they're going up against... Zack Sabre Jr. and Mikey Nichols, TMDK. I'm actually going to pick TMDK to pick up the victory. I think Callum Newman does end up eating the pin. But 
I think it'll be a good sh showcase between both teams. But yeah, got to go with TFDK on this one. Alrighty. Ooh, this next trios match ought to be pretty interesting. Check this one out. Okay, we have the trio of Hiroyoshi Tenzan, Togi Makabe, and Yoshihashi taking on Bullet Club's Kenta, Chase Owens, and Gabe Kidd. Uh, good to see Hiroyoshi Tenzan in action. It's been a while since I've seen him in the ring, so it will be good to see him. Um... To be honest, I think this is a pretty easy one. I gotta go with Bullet Club to pick up the victory. But, like I said, it's good to see Hiroyoshi Tenzan uh, in action again. But I just don't, I think Bullet Club will be too much for him, Yoshihashi, and Togi Makabe. So, going with Bullet Club for the victory. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Um, a lot more trios action. Here's another one. Alrighty. This time, we got the team of Shota Umino, Yuji Nagata, and El Desperado. And they will be taking on House of Tortures, Ren Narita, Jack Perry, and Yujiro Takahashi. Uh, as usual, House of Torture likeness, I expect there to be a bunch of shenanigans, and it's probably going to lead to their victory in this match. So I am going to say House of Torture picks up the victory in this match. Although I'll be happy if they lose, but I just, I don't see them losing this match. So House of Torture for the win. But I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. All right. How about some singles action? All right. We got Yo versus Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Man, that is quite a graphic for, for Yo. <laughs> but Yo versus Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Um... I mean, Yoshinobu Kanemaru is also part of House of Torture as well, so, I mean. You know, there'll probably be shenanigans, but you know what? I'm going to take a gamble and say Yo picks up the victory. I'm going to take a, camp, get a gamble. But, who knows? Maybe, maybe Kanemaru will pull it off with some help from his stable mates. But we shall see. But I'm going with Yo. All right, we got a we got a crazy ten man tag incoming here. Check check this out. This one's loaded. Okay. On one side, you got the team of Hikaleo, El Fantasmo, Toruyano, Jado. And Bolton Oleg, man, that's quite a combination. Taking on just five guys, all five members of just five guys, and Sonata, Doki, Taichi, Takamichidoku, and Yuya Uemura. Um, I actually dig this because I mean, how often do you see all five members of just five guys in action at once? So I actually, you know, I'm digging this. And I am picking just five guys to win this match. Although, I could see Taka Michinoku eating the pen. Either him or uh, Doki. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it safe. I'm going to go with just five guys to pick up the victory. Probably Bolton Oleg eats the pen or something like that. Or Jado. But, yeah, it could probably go either way, but I'm going to go with just five guys for the victory. Alrighty. 
This next match ought to be pretty interesting. It's a tag team match. Alrighty. We got LIJ versus House of Torture. So LIJ, which is Tetsuya Naito and Shingo Takagi. And they will be taking on House of Torture's Evil and Dick Togo. Uh, to be honest, this seems a little one-sided because I really don't expect Dick Togo to be as much of a threat as Evil is. I mean, when he's not in the match, it's one thing, but I don't know. This just seems like a match that would go in favor of, um, go in favor of LIJ. So, I'm going to go with LIJ to pick up the win, and probably Dick Togo eats the pin. That, that's my predict, prediction on that. But, ought to be interesting. Ought to be very interesting. Okay. And then, the main event, which is what this whole show is about. We come down to the finals of the New Japan Cup for 2024. Here is your finals matchup. It all comes down to Hiroki Goto versus Yota Suji. So Hiroki Goto of Chaos, Yota Suji of LIJ. Oh man. It has been quite an interesting tournament, especially for the both of these guys. And as I've said before, Hiroki Goto has had the easier path between the two. You know, because he had a bye in one of the, um, and I believe it was the second or third round he had a bye, was, suppo was, supposed, to face, was supposed to face David Finley, but David Finley had to withdraw due to health issue. But, despite having the easy path, we have to also keep in mind that Hiroki Goto has won three New Japan Cups in the past. Tw tw um, 2009, 2010, so two back-to-back, -back, and he also won it in 2012. So, this is a tournament that Hiroki Goto has won three times before. So he has an opportunity to win his fourth New Japan Cup. Not to mention, he's also won a G1 Climax back in 08. So do not sleep on Hiroki Goto. He is very capable of winning this final match and winning another New Japan Cup. And from the looks of it, it looks like they're hyping up a story for Hiroki Goto to have this big, big run, I guess dedicated to his father or something like that, and hopefully win the championship that he has never won before, that has always eluded him, the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. So this is, this is big. This is big for him. So... Don't sleep on Hiroki Goto. And I really, I do hope that at some point he does finally win the big one. I mean, he's not getting any younger. He's 44 years old. He turns 45 this June. So Hiroki Goto's not getting any younger. So I just really hope, I really hope that he can eventually pull this feat off before he calls it quits in his pro wrestling career. And then you have Yota Suji. Yota Suji. Who has been quite on a roll since returning from excursion. Um has what has yet to win any championships. But you know, still pretty young, only 30 years old. And like I said, he's been 
He's been on a roll. He's been on a roll. Um, I know he wasn't able to beat Yuya Uemura at Wrestle Kingdom, you know, on the biggest stage. But since then, he has been able to rack up a number of wins and even won a hair versus hair match over Yuya Uemura. And the path that he's had in the New Japan Cup, you know, had a much harder path than Hiroki Goto, and he has been able to get through each and every one to this point without any buys. So, Yoda Suji has definitely has definitely been on a roll. And this is a big, big opportunity for Yoda Suji to win pretty much his get his first big, huge win with the New Japan Cup. <sighs> okay, I'll say this. I think both of these guys definitely deserve to win this tournament. I think they both deserve to win this tournament. I am I'm a big Hiroki Goto fan, so I will be pulling for Hiroki Goto. But to be honest with you, it would not surprise me if Yoda Suji did win. It would not surprise me at all. And you know, this would be the first big win for Yoda Suji first big accomplishment in New Japan Pro Wrestling, winning the New Japan Cup. And we know that the winner will go on to face um, Tetsuya Naito at Sakura Genesis with the title on the line. Unless they actually do have him face Moxley at Windy City Riot, then, you know, title could change hands if that does become a title match. I'll say this. I'll say this. I won't be mad if either of these two win, but I will be pulling for Hiroki Goto for obvious reasons. But I do think both guys deserve to win this tournament. And I'll just leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that. Um, but yeah, that is your card for the New Japan Cup 2024 Finals. Um, you know, no title matches or anything like that. Not really a lot of big name matches. You know, a lot of multi-man matches. But the main focus, of course, is going to be, <coughs> pardon me, on the finals, which is the main event. So, at least there's that. One last thing before I um, end, the, end the video that I wanted to mention. Great news, y'all. We got more confirmed talent for the Stardom American Dream 2024 show coming up on April 4th in Philadelphia at the 2300 Arena. So... With the first seven that we already know that got announced that I went over a couple of videos back, they have added 12 more names for a total of 19 superstars confirmed for this show. Wow. I mean, just wow. Like, I'm definitely looking so forward to this show. And I will be there front row. Now, they don't have the card set yet, which they probably won't announce the card until after the Cinderella tournament finals. So I'd say either give it by the end of this week or sometime next week. We'll probably know the card. But they literally just announced the, the rest of the talent. So let's go through the whole list of the confirmed talent for Stardom American Dream 2024. So, representing Stars, 
Mayu Iwatani and Momokogo representing Queen's Quest Azumi and Saya Kamatani representing Empress Nexus Venus Mina Shirakawa and Maika representing God's Eye Shuri Saki Kashima and I'm going to go ahead and say Konami because even though she's part-time, I still believe she is part of God's Eye, but, you know, I could be wrong. But Konami, representing Cosmic Angels, Tam Nakano, representing Oedo Tai, Starlight Kid, and Momo Watanabe, uh, the unaffiliated talent, May Sarah. And then other talent coming in outside of stardom that will be featured on this show. You got Saki from Colors. You got NJPW Strong Women's Champion from CMLL, Stephanie Vacure. You got Ram Kaicho. You got Mariah May. Mariah May making her return, who's you know currently with AEW. Of course, Ram Kaicho is from Triple Six. You got Zaya Brookside, who's from TNA, but has had some stints in stardom, so familiar territory. And from AEW and ROH, Willow Nightingale, who was the first NJPW Strong Women's Champion. So, wow, what a lineup, ladies and gentlemen. I mean... I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. I mean, I know they haven't announced a card yet, but I, I already know it's going to be hype. And pretty much a lot of favorites on there that I, I'm hoping they do a meet and greet, though. I really do hope they do a meet and greet because I would love to meet everybody on that list. I think it would be really cool. Well, actually, everybody... Um, Everybody except Zaya Brookside, only because I've met her already back at WrestleCade last year. I have met her already. So pretty much everybody but Zaya Brookside. Um, but yeah, like, that's a really good lineup. For their America show, that's a good lineup. I mean, 19 confirmed stars? That's not bad at all. Now, I know a lot of people are wondering... Because certain names were left off. I know there's a lot of people wondering if the names that weren't announced are still going to be part of stardom. Look, I know there's a lot of people talking about Utami Hayashishita being that she didn't make the trip. Is she one of the ones that's going bye-bye? Look. I understand the speculation, I get it, but I think we gotta relax a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, I think we should really wait until there's something official. I think we should wait until there's something more official. Because when you think about it, Utami's not on this list, Natsupoi's not on this list. I mean, there's a lot of people not on this list. You know, a lot of the rookies aren't on this list. Sayaida's not on this list. Hanan, there's a number of talent. Ami Sore, there's a lot of talent not on this list. So, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't, we don't know what's going to happen. But I know there's a lot of worries, a lot of concerns. And, I mean, it is what it is. But I still look forward to this being a spectacular show. This is their first show since 2019. They got a lot of well-known names on this card. So I'm just looking forward to the card once they make the card. But like I said, I don't expect there to be a card announced yet until after Cinderella Tournament Finals is concluded. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, Game Beauty. And don't forget to... Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're at it. Let me know what your thoughts are, what your predictions are for the New Japan Cup 2024 Finals. 
And what do you think about uh, the newly announced talent confirmed for the Stardom American Dream 2024 show? That's 19 folks total. Anybody you're hyped for? Let me hear you. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. For another Pro Wrestling Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the 2. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed evening, and I will see y'all in the next video and or live stream. Peace. Later.